Hi everyone, Lisa here with the digital planner version of the mental wellness planner. So when I say digital, I mean the version for GoodNotes that has clickable tabs inside of it that you can jump around in the file and then use it on your iPad with GoodNotes or Notability or Procreate or any of those other applications. And obviously it can work on a tablet too. I just always say iPad. So um, we're going to go today over how to edit this planner. So make sure to download the workbook so you can follow along and take some notes. And if you did not purchase it yet, I wanted to give you one more chance to do it. Uh, it is available until June 30th for 50% off with the code MWDigital50. Or if you click this link right here, it will automatically apply the discount for you. And again, that expires at midnight on June 30th. So let's go ahead and jump into this planner. Uh, well, actually, let's jump into Adobe InDesign and I will show you what to do there. So this planner, let me just give you a lay of the land. So if you go to pages, so go to window and then make sure pages is selected, you're going to see at the top here of this little imaginary, like very thin line, I shouldn't say imaginary, it just looks imaginary to me because it's so thin. Uh, but you're going to see all of the master pages that I set up for you. And so these master pages, two things, if you weren't familiar with master pages, is definitely watch my really quick tutorial on it on YouTube, but all of these pages have been applied to the actual planner, which is below. So master pages, remember, don't show up in a print file. They are just kind of like uh, the background, like almost like a, I want to say a watermark, but that's not right. Um, they're just like the repeating elements you want on every single page. So if you hover over any of these pages down below, it will tell you which master page is applied. So this one says 1B anxiety page is applied. So if I go up here, I can see 1B is this page and that's what's been applied. So any of these pages down here that have 1B, 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 if I want to make a change that is going to repeat on each page, I mean, you could go ahead and actually just type it in down here. That's not a big deal. Uh, but to save yourself time, it would just be easier to put it into a master page so you don't have to worry about it later. Um, so that's really the whole point of master pages. Uh, you could, I could have obviously created this file without them. Um, it would just have taken much longer. <laughs> so I didn't do that. So anyways, so that is how the master pages work. Um, so let's answer the first question, which is how do you change the covers? So you have a cover right here. All you have to do is highlight this cover, make sure the selection tool is selected. Now, I don't actually sell the digital planners without the original files. So you'll want to go into the original files and go into covers and you're going to have a ton of covers. So I'm going to show you all these covers right here. Um, so you have the coral, you have the yellow, the pink, which we see here. Uh, we have the mint and we have the blue. So let's say you wanted the blue. All you have to do is drag and drop it right on top there and it will be right here like ready and waiting for you you can actually put in a different file i don't know why this is a little longer there we go um you just resize it now if you want to you can actually put in a totally different file you don't have to use one of the ones that i made um you can use something else and you do the same thing you drag and drop it uh or you could do file place and then it will place another image there. And again, if you're not familiar with these terms, I would 100% recommend taking my free course, which is Adobe InDesign 101, and then I'll kind of walk you through all of those different uh, elements inside of there. So that answers that first question on how to change the cover. So the second question is how to change tab text. So remember, all of the tab text, if you ever double click on something and you find that you can't edit it, most likely it is one of two things. It is in the master pages. Uh, so you'll have to look at the page that you're trying to edit, see which master page is applied, go up to the top and edit that. Or it could just be a locked object. So sometimes I go up here and I say unlock on all, all on spread and actually nothing is locked, but that could be one way to figure out how to edit something that you just can't edit. Usually that's the case. Um, or it could be hidden behind another object. So that is not the case here. It is just in the master pages. So if you want to edit any of these tabs, keep in mind every single master page, you have to do it on every master page. Um, so let's say we want to change instead of home, we just want to say the word cover. Maybe that's more intuitive to us um, or to you. So over here it says home. So you just have to double click in here and write the word cover. So that's what you need to do each time uh, on every single master page. Now, 
you cannot change the colors of these tabs. Um, well, I shouldn't say you can't change that. So that's not true. Um, what you could do, let's say you want to change the color of this tab, select this text over here, go to the top, and then you can make it pink as the background, right? And then over here, you could make this yellow. And obviously you can't see that. Some people will make it a dark color like blue. Um, and then I want the corners to be rounded instead of square. So I will just go over here and maybe we'll make sure that these corners are rounded. And that's how you change the color of those tabs. All right, so the next thing is, how do you edit the images? So the images, then there are not that many, um, but again, I can't tell you the fonts, which I totally would if I could. Um, so make sure to go back to the original file, find out what fonts these are. It will usually tell you when you open the file, like, hey, these fonts are missing, um, but I have all the bylinks for all the fonts that I used in here. That's Amara, that's Railway, I believe that's, I think those are the only ones I used. Oh, and Ratio Modern. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and edit the image, you can replace this with any image you want in the entire world. Um, what would that image be? Let's see, can I find an image on the spot? I should have prepared better, okay. Let's say I wanna replace it with this. So again, whoops, I'm going to drag and drop. So I have a JPEG over here. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto, there. That's obviously a YouTube thumbnail. Uh, but if you want to replace images, it's really easy like that. Just select one image and then drag and drop something just like we did with the cover. Now, if you want to use the original image, because obviously I wasn't able to sell it to you, you'll get a little question mark. I don't have one because I have the image. All you have to do is go up here to window and then go to links. And when you go to links, it's going to tell you the names of every single a uh, file that's in there. So for example, um, Adobe. So if I go to Adobe Stock, and if I go to that particular page, which is, or that particular, if I look that one image up right there, that's 25941258. So if I open up Adobe InDesign, um, or sorry, if I open up Stock, Dot adobe com, and I look for that particular image. Um, if I just put that number in, 259-412158, it will bring up that exact image of that woman hanging off a cliff rock. Obviously, it's not this one. It's further down inside the file, um, but you'll be able to get that same image uh, and then buy it. There it is. Um, and then buy it, and then you can go ahead and have it so you won't have that weird question mark anymore because you'll have the original file. Um, so if you're looking for files, the keywords I used were yoga, meditation, and therapy. If you want some images that are similar, but maybe not the same, you could also find images that way. All right, so the next one, how do you add pages? So the pages here are set up with section numbering. So you can see 0 0.3, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, .1, et cetera. These are not uh, in chronological order because you need section numbering in order for those clickable tab links to work. So to add a page, you need to, you, you can do it a few different ways. You can actually just go down here. Let's say you want to add another page over here to this last page. You can come down here and say create new page and just add the plus sign. It will apply whatever master page was used on the page that you just clicked the plus from. Uh, or you can right click over here and you can say insert pages and I could say 10 pages after this one that I'm on, 5.5, .5, and I want to apply, let's say, I don't know, maybe I want to apply just a blank page, background only, and I'll say okay. And now I just have a blank page. Um, again, I could change this uh, to apply another uh, master. I can just drag and drop the master. And now 4B is applied to that page as well. Now, just keep in mind, you have to add the pages in the section you want them to go in. So if you want to make section five longer, make sure to add the pages here. If you want to make section four longer, make sure to add them right here, right after 4.4 ends. And that way your clickable tabs will still work. All right, how do you delete pages? This is really easy. All you have to do is highlight it and then hit the little garbage can. Say okay, 
and it's deleted. So that's it. Um, how do you save your custom file? Okay, so this is really important. Uh, you do not want to go to save. I mean, you can obviously to save your InDesign file, but to save this so that other people will have clickable tabs as a PDF, like your sales file, you're gonna go to file and you're going to go to export not save, you're gonna to go to export, and then over here under format, just make sure you choose Adobe PDF Interactive, not print, the interactive one, and then it will keep all of your hyperlinks intact, you can name it whatever you want, and now your file has been saved. So, that's kind of all you need to know for the digital file. Um, and again, you know, to edit everything else inside of here is just like the original a tutorial I already did on how to edit the mental wellness. You can obviously go in here with the type tool, write whatever you want. So uh, I hope that helps and I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I'll talk to you guys later.